In this tutorial, I will teach you how to add hair to a character. We will try this on Donald Trump. Find a photo of Donald Trump on the internet and a photo of uh, some beautiful hair and save them to your computer. Now, drag them on top of each other with drag and drop in Photoshop CC and uh, resize them so that they fit each other. You should uh, pick two pictures that have the same perspective. Once you do that, you could uh, take the opacity down just a little bit so you can see the underneath image. You take the lasso tool and you cut out the face, the big parts, without getting into details, into hair details. Now, let's see. Okay, now let's take the, this big part out of the background. Roughly, yes. Let's go now to color range. Now, color range, we will select colors that are um, uh, similar and they will give you those uh, tiny hairs. Okay, now you delete. You see, that's roughly something you can work with. I undoed the deletion from the selection so I can refine it a bit. You could use the refine edge to get rid of these artifacts or you can use the, the eraser. Now this is a little bit of work to uh, get this acceptable. But if you're having fun, I don't think that there's a problem with it. Now let's see in the face area, how we make it look good. Uh, select a portion of the hair that we'll put on another layer. Okay, this part. And We'll go again to color range. And select only from this part so we don't mess up the rest of the hair, that's pretty good. And now we can erase the artifacts. Use the eraser to, uh, with different opacities and uh, softness to make it look better. Okay, we can uh, adjust it a little bit, transform a little bit of transform to better position it and scale it. You can spend as much time as you want refining uh, the hair. The more you, the more time you spend on it, the better it gets. But for the sake of time, let's move on. You see a little bit of Donald's hair. That's uh, not good. Let's use the patch tool to solve that. Erase some of the background that still is of, uh, visible. Okay, starting to look pretty good from a distance. Uh, we will we will uh, select his hand so that uh, we can bring it above the hair. Refine a little bit, a little bit of smooth, a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of feather. 
now copy it on a new layer and now let's make some adjustments to the colors to better match them between them to better merge the two photographs well it's like a bit of trial and error I don't think I want to make his hair look like that <laughs> okay uh, I'll pass on this hmm yes uh, da -da. you should um, see where the light is coming from and try to match that between the hair and the rest of the face uh, of course the exposure well, this is a bit of trial and error so you can do it yourself with all the adjustments there try them and see how they react to your photograph oh here the hair is um, Let's add a new layer on which we paint with the brush some more shadows. Looking pretty good for a couple of minutes of work now the hand, let's see we can make some adjustments oh it's still the hair is still selected and that's why we have this weird looking shape now that's better i uh, used the um, control d d control d to deselect the selection and the selection was not visible because i used the uh, control h to hide the selection but uh, it was still selected to hide the marching ends of the selection oh that's pretty good cool. that's pretty good I think I'll go with that see you see you tiny toots out